you click on this video because you want to find out how to get rid of squirrels in a roof. Let's get started. Okay, so I know that safety and sometimes subjects about construction be a little boring. So I've got you guys some very nice eye candy. So what I expect is you to watch the video all the way through, because when you do, it helps us make a little bit more money with the channel and I can actually afford to have girls like this in the video. So if you watch it all the way up, it helps our retention rate, which means our, sh our videos get shown more often. Now, I would really appreciate if you did that. So a little bit about myself. My name is Zach Blankensop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a U.S. military veteran. Let's get started. All right, so while the girls are off playing, we're going to talk about one of the serious things about squirrels being on or in your roof. Now, at first, we're going to go over the summary of the video. And again, this is important because, you know, these little boogers, while they're cute, they also can cause havoc on your roofing system and inside your attic, of course. So the first thing we're talking about is how to get rid of these things by first talking about why are they in the roof and why do they get on your roof in the first place. And then we're gonna talk about how to get these squirrels out of your attic if they get inside. Then we're gonna talk a little bit about what kind of damages can they actually cause inside your attic. Then we're gonna talk about what tools that you can use and where to buy them to rid squirrels from your attic. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about how you even know if there's squirrels in your attic because they could be in there and you don't even know about it. And then finally, just a quick conclusion to the video. Let's get started. All right, so why do squirrels stay on and in your roof? Or why are they on it and then of course in your attic space? Well, a lot of the reasons is because squirrels have gotten very accustomed to being very close to humans. Now you would think that most squirrels wanna be out in nature, but well, let's face it, like we, we have a lot of garbage. There's a lot of things that's in our neighborhoods that squirrels can eat. So a lot of squirrels feel a lot more comfortable being around humans. And by the way, if you see me look over to my left in the video some, I've got a lot of notes, I don't wanna miss anything. So it's not that I'm not paying attention to you, it's just I wanna make sure that we stay on track with the video. Now, uh, tree squirrels, for example, uh, like to burrow their way through tree trunks. Inside that, they have you know, hollow space in the wood for them to live in. Well, also, you know, they use these crevices for nuts, berries, grains, anything that they can to stock up for the winter time. So your roof, for a squirrel may look a lot like a tree trunk. So especially if you asphalt shingle roof, uh, for, for a squirrel, a lot of times that looks like a very familiar place for them. And so burrowing in through your roof, particularly in your ridge vent, uh, that's just one area that we've noticed a lot of damage from in the past with squirrels is your ridge vent. Uh, there's a lot of times it can cause a lot of damage there. So if you are in an area that has a lot of squirrels, you may want to think twice about putting ridge vent in. Now, always talk to your contractor because I promise we've seen it all. So in your area, just ask your local contractor if it's something that he's seen quite a bit. And if so, perhaps maybe look at another option for venting. It's one of the questions we get all the time is, well, if I do have squirrels and I know they're in my attic, how do I get rid of them? Well, there's a few different ways of doing this. Uh, when it comes to banishing uh, squirrels, you can seek professional help or do it yourself. The process is the same only you'll have to pull it off right if you decide to do it yourself instead of hiring a professional. Uh, some of the ways that you can do that, first off is trapping and relocation. Obviously, this is what we would recommend if you are wanting to do it yourself. You know, once squirrels get comfy on your roof or in your attic space, it's almost impossible to chase them out. The best way to keep squirrels out is by trapping squirrels alive, not dead. To do this, you'll need a squirrel trapper the size of a small cage. It's important to note that no poisonous baits for squirrels are available. Rat poison or mice bait is an adequate alternative for them. Uh, you can use squirrel food favorites, such as bird seeds, nuts, and breadcrumbs to lure them out. Uh, and then of course, once you get them out, you can trap them and safely take them out. I'm a fan of trapping versus over trying to kill them because, uh, what can I say? I like nature a little bit and I don't try to kill things unnecessarily. And I know they're kind of a habit to you uh, or pest to you, so you want to get rid of them. Of course, you can always uh, get a professional come out as well, whether it be a pest control or try to call animal control to do this, uh, depending on where you live at. So some of the trapping tips I'm gonna give you is always wear gloves to prevent them from biting or scratching your arm. Obviously there are some diseases that squirrels can have to, uh, to not make you wanna do this yourself. But if you are gonna do it yourself, again, try to wear some gloves. Uh, you wanna make sure the bait is for inside to lead them away from the entrance, um, it's far inside. And then 
locate their entry points to your home and set trapping devices in those areas. Again, if you know where they're coming from in and out, because they're obviously not gonna live in there full time, then just make it a little bit easier to trap them. All right, so you've gotten the squirrels out of your house and out of the attic and everything's good. Well, you may have not went ahead and found those entry points. If you haven't found those entry points yet, it's very important that you start working to find those because if squirrels came in the first time, they're only gonna come back. Maybe not the same ones, but different squirrels. So the first thing you wanna do is check your attic walls for any cracks or crevices where you think the squirrels may have came in at and have those repaired. Next, you wanna look for an unscreened vent or loose or rotten trim boards. It's another place that uh, is attractive for an adult female squirrel because uh, she can work as a uh, nesting place for uh, the younglings in the future. Uh, and of course, if you have any fruit trees in the yard or you're using a lot of bird seed, those are also gonna attract a lot of squirrels. So I'm not saying to cut down your trees or anything like that, or stop putting out bird seed for the birds, but just something to keep in mind that it also attracts squirrels as well. Uh, some of the squirrel exclusion tools that you can use for your wall crevices, I'd suggest you use a copper mesh or wire to seal them. Uh, again, if you don't wanna get the whole thing replaced, at least put some wire over the front of it that's gonna keep uh, them from coming in and out. You can also use exclusion tape uh, or a hardware cloth to fill up some smaller cracks. Replacing what rotten wood prevents them from gnawing in. Now for tree branches, make sure the branches don't extend to your rooftop. So if you have a roof that is has an overhang with a, with a branch or a, a tree that's really close, again, you're wanting to trim as much as you can to you know, take away that entry point to your roof, particularly if you're having a lot of you know, damage on the exterior of your roof as well. They may not even be coming inside and they're also just damaging the outside uh, uh, ridge vent or even chewing through part of the roof. Uh, that's one of the things to keep in mind. They may just be coming up because of a, because of a tree that's close by. All right, so believe it or not, there are some squirrel repellent pellets out there and some of them actually work. Now, some of the natural remedies that you can use is cayenne pepper, uh, regular pepper, and then you can also use uh, garlic, uh, garlic pepper as well uh, to spread around your home. Now, there are some things like squirrel predators urine that you can use as well. Uh, I don't know if, how well it works. Some people say it works, some people don't. Uh, but basically you want to use a predator of a squirrels and have their urine and put it all around their yard. I would go with the first three first, unless you live somewhere really out in the country. Uh, some of the other odd ones that actually kind of work is strobe lights that typically, uh, strobe lights are gonna square, uh, scare squirrels, or, scare squirrels, it's tough, isn't it? Scare squirrels away. Uh, next is ultrasonic sounds. If you've ever bought one of those little uh, devices that you use for mice. It works the same way. It's all it is, is going to push away uh, the squirrels by an unpleasant high-pitched sound for them. Uh, ammonia is another thing that you can use. Now, of course, you want to be careful when you're using ammonia around your uh, your grass or any vegetation around your house. You want to make sure that um, that you're being very careful with ammonia because it can have some devastating effects as well, but it will keep away squirrels, that's for sure. All right, so what kind of damages can squirrels cause inside your attic? Well, that answer is kind of surprising. They can cause quite a bit. So if you have a squirrel in your attic space, it can get comfortable and may even breed offspring. So now you don't just have a couple of squirrels in your attic, you've got a lot of squirrels in your attic. And then of course, with that, they're gonna to love to gnaw through your exterior and interior walls of your home. Uh, they can chew through electrical wirings, timbers, and cables. Uh, besides that, they can stack hay twigs, dried leaves, all kinds of stuff inside your attic. Uh, of course, that's a big fire hazard with them being up there because a lot of times your attic can be very hot. And of course, they're chewing through electrical wires plus a pile of dried leaves. Uh, that could equal to a big, big problem for you, like a house fire. Um, one of the biggest things that happens is they're going to obviously have to poop and use the bathroom quite a bit. So you're going to have an unpleasant smell coming from your attic. And obviously, that is not health healthy for you whatsoever. It's very similar to you having a mice problem, but you know, squirrels are typically a little bit bigger, so that's even something that's gonna be more of a problem going forward. Now, where can you buy some of the tools to get rid of squirrels? Now, if you wanna do it yourself, uh, any Lowe's or Home Depot or any local hardware store is gonna are gonna have certain items for you to get rid of your squirrels. So, you know, some of those include, you know, again, the ultra, uh, ultrasonic, uh, ultrasonic sound waves that's gonna come out. I bought a little box, I remember I had a uh, mice problem for a little bit, so I bought several one of those and it actually seemed like it worked uh, quite well. Uh, of course, you can always find urine at, uh, if you go to some co-ops and stuff like that, I'm sure they can help you out with some of the anti, uh, 
anti-squirrel urine, and any again any hardware hardware store that should be local to you, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot is going to have exactly what you need. Just uh, work with one of the people there, and then of course. Uh, I want to move on a little bit. How do you know that there's squirrels in your roof? Now, a lot of times people people don't know because, well, you know, how often do you look up at your roof? I, you know, I do it all, all the time because I'm a roofing contractor, but most homeowners are not. So, if you hear any type of strange noises up in your roof, that's either a telltale sign that you have mice or you have squirrels. Obviously, squirrels are going to be a little bit uh, larger sounding uh, most of the time. Hopefully, hopefully, you don't have any mice up there that's that big. Uh, again, one of the things that we, we always, uh, we've, we've pulled off some roofs before and the decking where there was some massive just um, droppings from, from, the, from the squirrels and you know the homeowner would always say, oh well, that's what that horrible smell is. We've been trying to get rid of that for months and then it turns out they had a you know, squirrel infestation in their, in, their, in their attic and they had no idea. So that's something that you definitely want to walk, watch out for. So if you are getting some weird smells and you can't find out where, where it's coming from, uh, either you or a professional go up there and check your attic to make sure you don't have squirrels. Now, if you're also seeing a lot of chewed wires and there's some mysterious holes in your wall, obviously they didn't come for nothing. So again, you want to go through the same type of uh, investigation, look for it yourself or call it a professional with that. Or let's say you just have some lights that are randomly going off in the house that, well, there's probably a reason for that. And it could be a squirrel that's chewing through that. Uh, and of course, if you're, you have a garden or you have any out outdoor areas, and you notice that there's a lot of food missing, then you know that you may have a squirrel problem. So again, they may be living up in your attic and then going and do their work in the evenings or in the mornings in your garden or wherever you have any vegetation. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching the video. We really appreciate it. Guys, if you enjoy the girls or you enjoy our content, please give the channel a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed to Digital Roofing Innovations and you like our content, please click the red subscribe button below. Now, always the Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values.